Conrad's candy again, I swear to God, I'll yeah, beat we'll your beat ugly your ass. ass! That's right! I didn't do it! It wasn't me! <gasps> Jesus, what crazy bullying. Get we fuck with the Mulaney's. Great, we got Michael right up his ace. <laughs> this kid's having a bad night. Yeah. Shot him in the throat and shot his own dude. And Michael's just like walking out. We're gonna get we're gonna get you some help, okay? Michael's strangling you and then you get shot in the throat. Was that Loomis? It's Loomis. We tell me Did Michael kill again? Like, don't save this. Oh, that was great. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jesus. <laughs> was he gonna murder all the firefighters? Oh my god. Alright, so he doesn't care if you're a good person in this tale. Hey, it's that dude. I just realized who that dude is. He's in a lot of stuff. He usually plays an Irish cop or something. There's a big fella in our bathroom and he's wearing a monster mask. Oh, what the fuck does he want? Who gives a shit? Run! Why are you e Jesus Christ? I mean, it was funny, but Jesus Christ. How is he even still conscious? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. It wasn't even like a fight. So violently dying. While she's bleeding out. So like the le Oh my. This is the last vision she has before she dies. Oh, I think that one's for her, maybe. Oh, no, he liked that one. It's Michael. <laughs> this is for Dr. Loomis. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? She shot them all. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Dude, I... Oh, my God. That is brutal. My God. This is, like, intense. Oh shit, I thought he was gonna at least try to. Oh. oh my god. That was gross. But I mean, I love it. I don't know if this dude's gonna make it, guys. Oh god, he's gonna grab him now. I was gonna say, what happens? Okay, that dude is probably dead. I wasn't sure, I was on the fence, but I mean. Ah, uh, oh yes, he's, I don't think he's making it, dude. I don't even know how he's still even looking with his face. Tell me he just like leans on his fucking head. So he went out of his way to even be a bigger son of a bitch. But I, I mean, hey, that's what you gotta love in your villain, but Jesus. Do it. Do it. Do it. Keep doing it. I, keep going. Why aren't you going more? I mean, that's great. Great start. Keep going. Bob? Hey, Michael. It's Halloween. 
Everyone's entitled to one good scare. I... I don't know how this is all gonna go down. I mean, I wouldn't be so sure they could all take him. Hey. Oh. Ah, oh, man. See? Um, stop him. I always thought Michael Myers was flesh and blood, just like you and me. Very curious to see how this goes down. You can't defeat it with brute force. Transcends everything. Well, that's friggin' creepy. If they don't stop him tonight, you can't close your eyes and pretend he isn't there. No way! That really just fucking happened. So that was a surprise at the end. I did not expect that. I even thought it was a vision or a dream by one of them. It didn't even have to be Jamie Lee Curtis. It could have been the other one. So I was like, are one of them, her or her daughter, envisioning this or having a dream or whatever? But nope. It just like right at the end, they're like, boom. Almost for like no reason. I mean, I, I get why they did it and it kind of makes sense. The vision she was having. See, she had like a vision in the window. Or I don't know. She had like some kind of uh, vision in the window and it gave me chills right towards the end. And then she went up and then became the person that was killed. Like that was weird. Like I, I mean, everything was done well, but I just like, I got to rewatch that. That whole thing was done so quickly. And then the way it ended, just like very abrupt, but we know there's going to be another one. Obviously I feel like Jamie Lee Curtis was really sidelined in this one and probably for good reason, because what are they going to do? Have her battle him again for an entire movie and then be like, hey, here she is again surviving. So it kind of makes sense that that happened. I mean, basically, there was a lot more violent, gory kills, tons of violence, tons of kills. I think that they should have stuck around and made sure he was dead in a better fashion. All they did was beat him with bats and stab him once. I'm pretty sure all they did was stab him once, beat him with bats. They did shoot him like three times. So I guess anybody else would think, yeah, this guy's dead. But we know that there's more going on here. So like I would have cut his fucking head off or something. I mean, I appreciated the fact that they had the whole Loomis scene in the beginning and the flashback. That was cool. I'm assuming they use CGI or uh, some kind of effects that made it look friggin awesome the whole beginning thing with the flashback that was great but they had crazy death scenes the the lady and her husband that got massacred the firefighter scene the mob scene there were many crazy deaths the boyfriend oh my god that was insanely brutal to the point though where sometimes when things are happening he will beat the shit out of you and i have been in fights many times if you got thrown by michael myers you would be crippled immediately and these people are still breathing and moving around and speaking and stuff you would almost be immediately knocked unconscious or broken to the point of crippled like immediately like paralyzed and these people are like, like the boyfriend thing. My God, he would have been dead five times over. And the old dude, he was beaten into the wall 30 times and then a glass shoved through his neck. I mean, they, I mean, I like it because it was for the enjoyment of all. I guess that's why they probably did it because if you did it realistically, it wouldn't be as fun. So I'm not going to rag on it. But I was like, my God, these people are really holding their own. And I mean, we knew how it was going to end. I said this in the trailers for Halloween Kills that it's gonna be a movie worth watching just for the sake of Halloween and everything like that but there's no risk to be taken because if you're telling people don't worry there's a third one coming you know the main event hasn't started yet so I was going into this not very optimistic but trying to have a good time it's Halloween in two weeks and I, and they fulfilled that I, I feel like it's a very solid movie 
I don't know where it would rank, but it definitely ranks on the higher end of the spectrum for Halloween movies. So I definitely would recommend it. I'm definitely going to check it out again, but it might be in like the top five. And that's pretty good considering there's over a dozen Halloween movies at this point. I don't even know anymore, but you guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of what I do? Full on edited reactions to all the shows and stuff on the channel. Patreon link in front of me. Dozens of exclusives and seasons ahead on all the shows you see on YouTube on Patreon. Check the link. If not, comment down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.